Hey guys, it's your boy Juice, and I'm back again with another episode of Madden 17 Connected Franchise Miami Dolphins Edition. Y'all see, I'm over here signing back all my good players. Chris Culliver, I signed him back just because, you know, we need depth in our uh, DBs, even though we got two great DBs in Issa Abdul and Rashad, but those two can just do it by themselves because they're not even corners, they're just safeties. Making sure the back don't get blown up. But yeah, you, uh, I'm over here gonna re uh, look up some safeties, or not safeties, my college plays, my bad. I'm gonna just uh, scout them so whenever the draft starts, I can know who I want and everything. Y'all know what I'm saying. You see, I was gonna look at the tackles and everything. I was just like, nah, I'm gonna go past them. And you see, I'm gonna, I was, I'm gonna look at, I was good, yeah, I looked at the safeties, Arm, Armand and Maxi, and they were terrible. So I was just like, oh, let's look at Diamond. Diamond was good. Even you see, he was a first round pick, and his name is Diamond. Y'all see, y'all saw the irony in that. Yeah. Um, Jazeo Oher. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the audio right here, and I'm gonna let Jim Nance and everybody take care of that. So, peace. Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. Today, we have the most prolific offense in the NFL on the field. The Chargers are top 10 in total yards, and they go up against the Dolphins defense that will need to be at the top of its game. With that, let's get out to San Diego. Here's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. America's finest city on about as fine a Sunday afternoon as you're ever going to see. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Miami Dolphins and the San Diego Chargers. Hi, everybody. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And, Charles, we take a look at this Charger club entering play here. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special. Here's the Charger off. Okay, guys, and we are back, and you see Phillip Rivers. He, he's doing pretty good with 11 touchdowns, three interceptions, and 2, 000, over 2,000 yards. He's doing, he's doing pretty good on the season. So you see they got started off with a run. Kiko gets blocked. Rashad gets juked out of his shoes. And I was just like, you are the best safety in the NFL, in my opinion. And you get shook out your shoes. Then they pass it. Kiko Alonso could have jumped up and picked it, but didn't do any animation, which did get me pissed off. First and ten, they went ahead and do another run. It's like in the in the in their first drive, they're just destroying me with the run. Like I could not stop them at all. But yeah, you see they're gonna we're gonna be looking at the Chargers defense, Matt Lawson, DJ Booker, Joe Sparks, Sand Saddle, Saddle, Danny Woodhead, Brandon Oliver, and all them. You see they're gonna do an uh, it's third and nine. I changed the play, defense auto flip. I was then pressure gets sent. But you know, Phillip Rivers doesn't even feel the pressure. He throws he throws a dot. An amazing dot to Jones. And almost gets a touchdown right there, but luckily our guys stopped him. Now we're gonna look at our defense. You know, it's still the same. Nothing new changed. Vincent Valentine was our new addition like two or three weeks ago. He's doing I he ain't doing that well though. So I might have to do some rethinking. Issa Abdul, Rashad, Chris, and uh, what's his name, Byron. You see Danny Woodhead dives into the end zone, touchdown. And I was just like, wow, okay. You see Indomitian Sue pushing around Jones. But yeah, Ryan Tannehill. Let's look at this thing. 13 touchdowns, 8 INTs. He's not really doing good that he's not he, he's not really doing good that or good in the season. You see first play runs a run to Kenyon. 
But yeah, let's look at our offensive line and you know, the offensive starters in general. Mike Pouncey, Jermon, Brandon, Jeremy, and Jawan. Jawan, I'm gonna have to go get somebody on our left tackle because Jawan James is, or is he right tackle? I'm not sure, but he's not doing good at all. So I might have to sign somebody to replace him. But you see, that was an incomplete pass from Ryan Tannehill. It was second and seven. So now let's look at the Chargers defense. Brandon Mbame. Mbame. Uh, he was a new addition from the Seahawks. My bad. That was me having a little brain fart. Yeah. Dwight Lowry, Dante Wynn, and Jason Garrett. You already know all those. You see, I, I go ahead and pass it to Jordan Cameron, but they get a hand on it. So I was like, all right, might as well punt it. It's third and four on their down. You see, I'm pressure being sent. And incomplete. Phillip Rivers now going three for four. They punt it. Second and ten. I pass it down to Devontae Parker. Devontae Parker gets the first down. Now we're going one for four for 11 yards. That's our first completed pass of the game. Jarvis Landry, I went ahead and looked at him. I passed it right to him. Then they punch it out, but Jarvis Landry jumps right back on it. I was really scared. Second, of, or that was our second pass completed. Almost went for a turnover. Could have taken it back if they wanted to. If they jumped on it fast enough. But you see, pass it to Kenny Stills. Kenny Stills jumps over. Doesn't even do it. Breaks two other tackles and then gets tackled at the six. I want to see that one more time. 25 yards after catch. Y'all saw that? I want to see that jump one more time. You see, Tannehill drops back. Doesn't feel any pressure. Draw, uh, throws in his back foot. Jumps over him. And breaks two tackles and gets tackled again at the six. You see, Kenyon Drake, touchdown. You see him doing his little dance. I think that's his fourth rushing touchdown of the season. I'm not really sure. But yeah. First and ten. They went ahead and did a play action. I sent the pressure. And Mario Williams gets, a, gets like his third or fourth sack. Oh, fifth sack of the season. And you see, I went ahead and said some more pressure. I chased Phillip Rivers down with uh, Byron Maxwell. That's another sack. Third and 26. He's at the nine. And you, you already know what I'm going to do. If it's 3rd and 26, you know I'm going to send some more pressure. I don't even care. I went ahead. Cameron Wake, he j and he just takes him down. You see, Cameron Wake got his second tackle. That's as he wanted. Two-minute warning hits. You see, and Dominican Sue. So they went ahead and punted in second and three. I pass it to Devontae Parker. Devontae Parker catches it. But the score right, you already see the score is 7 7, right? So I went ahead and passed it over to Jarvis Landry. Jarvis Landry gets down, but it's a first down. So six, we're going 6 and 10. We have not missed a pass ever since the 1 and 4 incident, or 1 and 3. We have not missed a pass yet. I went ahead and run it with Tannehill. Tannehill's off to the races. Slides. One, he already did one rush for 12 yards. I think that was the only time I actually ran with him. And now it's third and goal. So I went ahead and passed it to uh, Jarvis Landry. And he gets hit really hard by Manti Teo. But instead, but still gets a touchdown. First receiving touchdown. I'm not sure. That's not of the season, but that's of the game. Y'all already see him following the rounds. I'm pretty sure that was Manti Teo that hit him. Right? I'm pretty sure I'm right. Yeah, Manti Teo. You see, we get the ball back second half. They're running. We're running. And first down. Kenyon Drake. Y'all already see that. We're doing really good. Kenyon Drake's running. He's running. And he's Kenyon Drake's off to the races but gets tackled. I swear if Devontae Park came and blocked the dude beside us, we would have been gone off to the races. You see Kenyon Drake. I try running. I break a tackle. But, you know, it's not even close for a first down. That was two yards away. You see our play, 24 plays, 164 yards. We're doing really good now that it's the second half. I pass it to Kenny Stills. Kenny Stills gets tackled at a 13, 12 yard gain on the play. Five, 10 for 15. We've only missed one pass ever since the, you know, one and four, like I said, about two, two times already. You see, we, we did a play action, passes it to Drake, but Drake cannot, or not, I said Drake, I meant to say Parker, that's my bad. 
You see, he couldn't hold on to it. We pass it to Arian Foster, and he's gone. Touchdown, Miami. You see the score, 21-7. to First receiving touchdown. You see Phillip Rivers. The only reason why I'm showing this is so we can see the sacks that we got earlier. Boom, like I said, Byron Maxwell. That's the sack. Boom, Mario Williams. That's a sack. They can't, we all said they can't really run on us since, like, the beginning of the game. Because the beginning of the game, it was, like, their game. First quarter was their game. Now it's ours. We get a sack. And Dominican Sue gets his first sack of the game. Two tackles, one sack. And we completed a goal to get four sacks. We, we snap it. And you see Jordan Cameron. I thought he was out of bounds, but they kept him in, so that was really good. Third and five. You see Arian Foster's in, but we're not going to pass it to him. But this could actually do. But face mask. About 15 yard penalty. 19 yard line. Play action. Get hit. That's the first sack they got. Jeremiah added you or whatever. I do a screen, but you know it's not really going to work. I tried doing a juke, but instead they hit me really hard. So. You see, first and ten, they, they throw it away. Because I sent the pressure. You know, you already know. We, the Dolphins have one of the best defensive lines. It's just that we're not really showing. I sent some more pressure. Kiko Alonso gets his sack. I throw it. Tannehill. Gray gets stripped. But Jarvis Landry recovers the fumble. That's his second. Fumble recovery, Jarvis Landry is done. One for his fumble, the other for Marquise's grace fumble. But you see, Jarvis Landry gets the second touchdown of the game. Then he's going to do his little. Kicks down the door celebration. I don't even know what that is. But, like, you can't really ask me what it is because I don't know what it is at all. Jarvis Landry just does what he does. You know, you know. But, yeah. It's, um... First and 20, they had a holding penalty. They throw it over, and they get the first down. Antonio Gates breaks the tackle, and we just slap him. They throw it again. First down, third and five, and they went in and throw it. But, you know, it's not even going to be close for a touchdown. But, yeah, that was basically the game. Y'all know we already getting the dubs. We getting these dubs. We're not, in my opinion, the way we're playing, we're not gonna lose another game. That's what I'm thinking. We're not gonna lose another game. But if we do, then I'm gonna be pretty pissed at our defense because our offense really can't do anything in the first place. So like our offense relies on our defense to give us back the ball and give us more chances. Because I'm not really an offensive type dude. If y'all if y'all haven't noticed already, I'm a defensive person. Let's see Kenyon Drake gets his touchdown, fourth or fifth touchdown of the season. I'm not really counting. Arian Foster gets his first receiving touchdown of the season. Ryan Tannehill throws, gets Jarvis Sanjay's second or fourth. That's his fourth receiving touchdown of the year and second receiving touchdown of the game yeah you already know your boy the juiciest like comment subscribe you know do all that share it while your friends so i get known around the community more you already know what i'm saying so have fun and stay juicy than that i come around when you least expect me i'm sitting at the bar when your glass is empty you thinking that the song's coming on to tech me i need to be alone like the way you left me you start calling you start crying i come over i'm inside you i can't find you